Jason, Jason, look, so, oh, they're in the bottom hello? right corner. Okay. Hello? Your camera settings. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear hello? me? Hello? Hello? We've got to get this figured out before the show tonight. Look, look at the camera. It's the little dot right there. I, yes. This is? Yes. <laughs> sort of. Jason, yeah, my Nana can figure this out. All oh, right. Please. We'll figure Come it on. out later. Later. <sighs> okay. What? Fight the moves that you're doing on purpose. Sing like a sing on key. Talk to the girl that intimidates you. Pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! Welcome, welcome, Later with Jason Sewell. We're so glad you are tuning in, and we're going to bring in right now our social media correspondent. You know him, you love him, Instagram Pa joining us, because we got to figure out what all these Zoom meetings, all these Skype meetings, all of these uh, social we, distancing. We, we need our resident tech expert. We absolutely do. How are we going to navigate this world without InstaG? That's right. So, InstaG, uh, talk to us, man. What, what do you know about about Zoom meetings. We're just figuring Ooh. this out as we're going along here. Everybody's, everybody's Zooming. Aren't they Zooming in? We're Zooming in on each other. Churches, uh, businesses, schools, uh, we're all happy hour. We're Zooming. Everybody's Zooming in. You got to be careful though. You got to be, watch your security checks. I did Ooh. a Zoom. I, yeah, people will bomb it. It's called a bomb, a Zoom bomb. It's a grandpa. Fill us in. Do you think that Zoom conferencing or kind of video conferencing is safe in this COVID-19 pandemic? Well, it is the safest way to kind of stay apart. You know, this whole thing about staying home and, uh, and not doing much, uh, I'm really kind of used to that. I've, I've, I'm <laughs> used to not going to work and um, I pretty much stay alone, stay away from people anyway. So it's not a new thing to me, but if we can use our technology for good, then I think, you know, it's good to see each other and, uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, stay apart for right now. I, I created two yardsticks and duct taped them together because that's almost six feet and <laughs> went out in crowds to poke at people to stay back. You know, good to see you, but stay back. Good it's a social distance meter. Beep, beep, beep. Yes. Two yardsticks. Also a mask. The best mask I made was with a diaper and two straws. Uh, the uh, napkins and duct tape did not work. Uh, the bacon I'm, and the. I don't uh, know if the diapers and, work either, but just a diaper on your face that you'd be something to look at at least out hey, in public. I made some rhymes in these uncertain times to remind us, once this is behind us, the kind of people we became. And uh, one of them is uh, is what when you sneeze, don't make me ask. Pull it down, cover your mouth. That's one of them, and. Uh, that may be kind of <laughs> I feel like it was primed to use the word mask. You want to get up in the morning and kind of assess yourself each morning. Look in the mirror and ask yourself three questions. How am I doing? Um, uh, what's going on? You know, what's going on? And, and um, also, wh what are, um, I, I'd like to know what other people are doing to help. <laughs> I feel like you're just making these questions up on the spot. Are, I mean, those are solid, though. I, I I need to write these down. It's just what I say when I get up in the morning. Hey, but, Instagram, uh, Paul, thanks for joining us, and thanks for filling us in on all the things that you're doing to stay safe in this pandemic. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'm glad that you're also telling us what we need to be doing, waking up, asking, asking ourselves questions. Uh, and yeah. uh, we just really appreciate you being our social media correspondent. So Get out, get out do some fishing, too. You know, there's a... Uh, Take your stick, take your six foot stick with you and get out and, uh, and enjoy outdoors right now. That's what I'd say. Yeah. And if anybody, Social gets, fish <laughs> anybody gets too close, you just, you whack them with that thing, right? Get, out, get out of my zone. Social distance. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the key word. Well, it's good to see you guys. I'm glad good you're both you. healthy and healthy. Let's, uh, let's keep all our 
loved ones close and happy and healthy to us. Yes, that's right. Stay safe, Mr. Grandpa. Thank it's, you. Oh, one more, one more rhyme. You know what they say. Yeah. Six foot away from me. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Two yardsticks, ladies and gentlemen. Don't make me sick. I'll poke you with my long pole. Sam's Furniture doing good. Shine a spotlight on your neighborhood. Well, we're here in the dining section at Sam's Furniture, and we're joined by Chris Fox from Bethany Christian Services. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what the uh, nonprofit does. Okay, so we're a faith-based Christian organization, uh, provide pregnancy counseling and adoption services for families in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, so if there's a pregnant mom out there, she doesn't know what to do, she's scared, she can come to us and we'll talk to her about her options of if she wants to parent or if she'd like to place for adoption. Uh, and then also my primary responsibility is to go out and talk to adoptive families, let them know the process of adoption um, and walk them through the process of doing the adoption, right. um, meet them at the hospital and support them if they are adopting a baby. Um, and then make sure they get settled in once that baby is placed in their home. Man, you guys do so much. If people are watching right now, they want to get involved, they want to learn more, how can they do that? Uh, they can go to www.bethany.org or they can uh, email us directly at rmorris at bethany.org. Man, you got all the info. I love it. Bo, what's the... Uh... I think it's time to get involved. <laughs> everybody. Welcome, later with Jason Sewell, uh, Bo Counts, Bianca Montoya, Brian Crum, all joining us on Later with Jason Sewell. We're talking about Beyond the Tap, a new podcast show that's launched here in Northwest Arkansas and, and everywhere. You can catch it on all the all the platforms, but we're talking to specifically Smash about that like and subscribe button. Do it! I'm uh, telling you. So guys, thanks for joining us. First of all, we've all got a beer. I think we should just cheers each yeah. other before we get virtual cheers. Bink. Oh, cheers. Bink. Clink. <laughs> Clinky dink. Schlotcha. Um, now I know that I've been doing this a lot lately, you know, uh, as a, as a bar owner that has been current. Well, I do that a lot anyway. But as a bar owner, we, we've been closed. It's been weird. And a lot of my friends and fellow bartenders and regulars, we can't have a beer together. And I know. So we've been doing a lot of virtual happy hours. Have you guys been doing that? Getting ready to. Uh, we actually, uh, so, uh, on, well, let me see. We have been doing it, I guess, now. Um, so we, <laughs> I was you like, wait a second. It. I know, right? It's like we're getting ready to do another one coming up here. So, yeah. So, uh, join on our Facebook page. You can watch every single one of them that we have, and uh, you can be with us. Yeah, tell us about why you wanted to start it, what it's about, why people should tune in. I think the coolest thing that uh, that we are uh, able to do through this show is to be able to just just share what's going on here because a lot of people uh, were finding you know you you might find your favorite bar and you have it it's within probably two or three miles of your house uh, it's the one that you go to all the time and um, you know honestly people just they don't venture out a lot mm. but we've had 144 percent growth in uh, in the last five years wow. just here in Northwest Arkansas alone so. We've, we've grown tremendously. There's a lot of variety. There are different breweries and different flavors to everything. And so I was, I was reading uh, per capita in Arkansas, we have more craft breweries than many places in the country. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and that, that's numbers increasing. Yep, it is. It is. And I, I tell you, I think the COVID thing definitely put a pinch on some folks. Um, but, you know, one of the coolest things that we have continued to see uh, at the beginning and the middle and the end of this as it winds down and everything is that everyone stays tight. Everyone stays very well connected. And um, it, it's just been really cool to see all the places cheering for each other. Bianca, I want to chat with you because you guys are kind of co-hosting this podcast uh, show, this show together. Why do you want to get involved? Uh, you like beer. I know that. But talk to us about kind of your passion behind this whole thing. <laughs> No, actually, I, I feel very humbled, uh, and I was quite excited when I received the invitation from Brian and Zach Held uh, to be a part of this. I was like, me? Oh my gosh. Uh, no, I really <laughs> was. I was excited. Uh, just, I, have, I feel like beer is more of a hobby for me, uh, something I've always kind of wanted to do with more of a deep dive into. Uh, now, I, I run- um, Y'all like deep dives into beer. <laughs> deep dives into a nice craft beer, yeah. <laughs> I believe that's called chugging. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I run a ladies beer club with my friend Rachel and, uh, and that was, we did that a little while ago and that has been such a like 
a joy in my life. And so, and I feel like our craft brewery scene is very special. I feel like I have really nice connections with uh, the teams at the different breweries and it's just, it's like a family. And so whatever I can do to support them, uh, you know, this is like highlighting how awesome they are. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's uplifting. I mean, you want to bring the community together, which is really great to see. Um, guys, tell us the details. If people want to tune in and hear you, tune in. How do we in watch? Show, how do we uh, find it out? How do we find it? Yeah, where where is where it? Where is that like button to smash? So uh, the easiest way to find us uh, is to go to gobeyondthetap.com and uh, just G-O beyondthetap.com. And uh, all of our social links are on there, all of our you know, Spotify and Apple uh, podcasts and uh, you name it, Pocket Cast. We're in, on all of the major platforms now. Guys, thanks so much for filling us in. And one of the things I have to say that I love about it is that right now, at least right now, your, your focus right here in kind of Northwest Arkansas or Arkansas, the region of uh, where, where we live. And so you have a local spotlight. Why do you think it's important to kind of shine that spotlight on what's happening right here in Northwest Arkansas. We're still considered a flyover state and people hmm. underestimate us. So I think that another thing is like us being on all these different platforms, trying to get the word out uh, for when it is safe to travel. Uh, I, I think it's fun to talk about Arkansas because people are so, it's so unassuming. They're like, yeah. Arkansas, Arkansas, what, where yeah. are you, Kansas? <laughs> you know, it just, I just want to tell people like, yeah, we have a lot of special things. But you know what's so funny is like when you meet someone and uh, they visit in Northwest Arkansas, and it's like all of a sudden they become like a believer. It's like an yeah. evangelical like kind it's of true. thing. Yeah, it's they're true. like, I love the natural state. I love the people there. And uh, yeah, so we just need to spread that good word. That's yeah, why you, we do this show. Yeah. yeah, and that's why you do your show. Guys, we're so thankful that you would take the time to hang out with us. And I know that I am tuned in to what's happening on Beyond the Tap. And I hope that we're helping kind of raise the awareness of the great things that are happening in Northwest Arkansas. So Brian, uh, Bianca, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. We yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get one Cheers. more toast in. Cheers. 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 Clink. Our musical guest brought to you by Walton Art Center. Walton Arts Center, presenting the West Street Live Series. Ladies and gentlemen, Randall Shreve. Hey, hey, beautiful. What it is to you. What it is to make Was this new?
right, everybody, welcome back. As we always do, I'm later with Jason Sewell. We've got a chef joining us, Chef Aaron Rowe. So excited to have you join us again, Aaron. This time we're doing something virtually, which is kind of sad because Bo and I, our hands are free. We don't get to participate. We don't get to eat whatever you're going to make, but I'm sure it's going to be this amazing. Is not like the, this is not like the movie Hook. I can't just imagine it, and then I'm going to eat it. I know. <laughs> and this I isn't know. like my TV in uh, Willy Wonka where you can just come through my screen and come have a bite of what I'm making. Do you do yeah. curbside delivery? Uh, yeah, pickup. totally curbside delivery. Absolutely. So, Aaron, I know <laughs> one of the things we were talking about is how, you know, if people are at home right now, you're giving us some tips on maybe some things that you can pull together and have a nice, gourmet, nutritious, delicious meal just with stuff that's in your house. So, let's launch into it. What have you got Absolutely. to prepare for us? Well, you know, well, I was kind of thinking, Jason, as we were talking about it, a lot of people are at home right now, and a lot of people have things in their fridge, and you know, we need to eat healthy right now, especially. And so you might have a lot of different random vegetables, different things from leftovers from other meals. Is there anything that family. you know off the top of your head that you can make from mustard, ketchup, pickles, olives, hot sauce? Um, Those are all condiments. Sauce. Is all you yeah. have yeah, is I'm condiments? Thinking, like you puree all that together, Bo, and add some salt and pepper and put it over pasta. What do you think? <laughs> Dude, it's like a tapenade or something out of yeah, condiments. Yeah, I'd say it's a refrigerator, a reefer tapenade. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> What'd you pull together? Okay, so what I was thinking is that we would do a really easy empty the refrigerator stir fry. So basically you're using up a lot of those leftover ingredients in new ways. So that way when you're feeding the family or yourself, you're not getting bored with eating the same foods all the time. Rock it. Walk all right. it. Rock it. The skills are hot. Can you hear that sizzle? Oh, I yeah. can hear it, yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm jealous that I'm not there. Yeah. I can almost I'm smell it. I'm garlic right now. I can definitely smell that. Yeah. See, I can tell right now, if we were in the studio, as we always do it, it would be smelling <laughs> amazing. You got all the aromatics going. Bo would have something. He would be squirting be the sriracha in his carrots. mouth. I'd be crunching on everything. I'd be squirting uh, whatever that hot sauce is on yeah. something. How long do you cook this for? What are you looking for w once it's in the bowl, once it's in the wok? How long Probably does, about how long 15 does minutes. Cook? 15 minutes? 15 minutes or less, yes. Wow. I mean, check this. Look, Bo. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Uh, hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got it good and hot. Now, I if hope... you were um, doing this over gas, it'd be even better because the gas flames would come up around the sides of the wok and cook it all the way through like that. So sad. I was like, why can't I have this food already? <laughs> God. I'm It's not fair, you guys. It's not fair. Okay, it's guys, the garlic so and onions. <laughs> I'm not crying. Yeah. You're crying. Right, so what are you doing here? Are you a, a sunny side up? What are you <laughs> right in the middle I'm of the well? I'm just kind of doing a quick scramble. A but quick I'm scramble. In the pan. Nice. Yeah. And that way it kind of cuts it up and it gets it incorporated with the other vegetables. And once it's pretty well cooked, then I'm going to push everything to the side. I'm going to add in that cold rice. And then from there, I'm just sauteing the rice with the items and then adding salt, pepper, sriracha, rice wine and vinegar if you want to add that or um you know obviously soy sauce is a necessity now whenever i go to the hibachi grill they always add a little butter so i i went ahead and threw that in you know a little yeah. ozark take on it you know yeah i do have my rice wine vinegar i do my ginger paste or if you have fresh ginger you could add it at that point and then salt and pepper to taste and then you're done so yeah we've it got seems so easy when you yes. do it now i could saute this for like one more minute really but as you can see the the rice isn't sticking together i'm going to show you guys this I can't wait to That's see what's in the bowl. It's in the wok. Boom! Wow, that looks delicious. Right. Easy. Yeah, and it's super colorful and delicious, and it smells just like an Asian restaurant. I mean, it's lovely. Aaron, thank you so much for joining us. Folks, stick around. we got more later with Jason Sewell coming up right after this. Thanks everybody for tuning in later with Jason Sewell, this really special video chat style episode. And before we leave, we want to make sure that we thank all of our guests, including the one and only social media correspondent, Instagram Paw. And we can't forget Brian and Bianca from Beyond the Tap. And how about Randall Shreve for an amazing music video? Thanks, bud. And tips at home for cooking with Chef Aaron Rowe. That's it. That's our show. We'll see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Virtual cheers. Awesome.